to a uh, bro brew review. Sweet. Number two. Number two. This is the second one. The first one we did, oh, the sake. Yes. We did sake, and this time, as you can see, yeah, we're doing Appleton Estate Jamaican rum. Ooh, I like rum. Extra 12 years aged. 12 years. It's an adolescent rum. Hmm. I wonder how that works. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I've never had 12-year-old rum, and if I've had, I clearly don't remember. Yeah. And pardon, I will name my name is uh, Lusions. This is Ardermis. And let's get right into this. Let's dig in. Awesome. So, uh, there we go. If you want to... Appleton Estate, Jamaican rum. Right there. There we It's the real deal, people. We're doing this so you don't oh. have to. Oh. Of course, we really <laughs> want to. We will go through the pains of tasting this rum for the first time for your... Just, just think of us as the royal taste testers. Yeah. Not that we're royal or anything. Not that All right, there you go. Poison. I'll let you grab that. I'm going to reach down here. Do you want me to crack the seal? Uh, most definitely. All right. Have the honors. Let me itch in unappropriate places <laughs> before I grab the ice. Now what's going on over there? <laughs> Let's give this a right. shot. A couple of things of ice. I smell this. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> it smells like rum. Oh. But I know it's good. Ooh, rum. I can. I can actually smell that. Rum. <laughs> yeah, I mean it does smell like rum, but it doesn't have like that. Yeah. You know, the typical Bacardi or... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... I got no days of me good. Maybe it's just purely psychological. It could be. I mean, Even it sounds better than regular run coming out of the bottle. Of that. <laughs> and I should have asked our Dermis if you wanted ice or not. Uh, some people like to drink their spirits at room temperatures. Others like yeah. to have it nice and cold. I like to have I like it, it cold. Chilled, yeah, but... I All right. Either way, I'm just happy to. Whoa! Be rum. It's definitely more powerful out of the uh, bottle. You ready? I am so ready. Sample time. Here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're getting my reaction. Hmm. <laughs> I tasted all 12 years in that. Oh, my gosh. That was good. You like that? I do. Um, I like it a lot. <sighs> <laughs> Need a moment there. I do. yourself. And out here, I thought I was the, uh, the, the heavier drinker out of the two of us. Rum is my poison of choice. Even, I mean, I... I may be a lightweight, but this is, this is my baby. <laughs> I'm having a hard time going back to the... Yeah. <laughs> Need to wash that down with some... No, no. Tequila. No. Uh... <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken a smaller <laughs> drink. <laughs> Show I'm... over here, people. <laughs> this is why you're here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I definitely yeah. don't consider myself a lightweight because I can hold my own. But yeah. this is just punching me. Oh, it's it's in got the face. Yeah. It has a kick. Um, it's pleasant and it warms all the way down. Oh, you know, heck yeah, it warms. Tell us, tell us what okay. the website says that the flavors and undertones are supposed to be. Because we did see do a little bit of research this. before the tasting because we want to. We want to give a good review, and also we'll put down a link to the product down below. Um, anyway, the appearance, according to the brewer, you brew rum? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Are they called brewers? I guess. Are they no, called? I don't know. Okay, appearance. Something it's a up. dazzling, know this. bright, rich bronze color. Spot on. It is dazzling. That is dazzling. It is rich. And it, it is, is rich. Yep. And even diluted with some pretty horrible looking ice there. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. We had that straight from South America. America. 
Wow. It's important. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, our next video will be on how to make appropriate ice. <laughs> this looks like it's been in the fridge for a very yeah. long time. <laughs> anyway. Um, nose. All right. Nose. Nose. Mature sense of walnut. Nutmeg. Yeah. If you call 12 mature. <laughs> orange peel and vanilla. Are you getting that through the nose there? The molasses, orange peel, nutmeg. Okay, the only thing, the only thing that I pick up on is a subtle hint of molasses. I do catch just a, a hint of that, and I think that's just. I think psych psychologically, I'm starting yeah. to smell the the orange. I don't smell it. You don't smell the yeah. orange peel. I don't know. Maybe I'm just desensitized or something, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not picking up on any of okay. them. I, I don't taste the nutmeg. I don't taste the uh, orange peel. Delicate molasses, vibrant orange peel, rich vanilla. I kind of get the rich vanilla. I mean, I, like actual yeah. vanilla where you scrape the vanilla. Yeah. It, not. Maybe I, I wouldn't... You know, when I when I think rich vanilla, I think of like, oh, this is this has a vanilla essence to it. But if there's a vanilla essence there, it's not working it's, for you. It's just I don't know where it's at. It may be mingling with that molasses rum flavor. Rum sort of just has that in general. Is it subtle good? Oh, coffee yeah. and cocoa? Catching coffee cocoa from this? I'm just catching freaking. I do not catch coffee, and I do not catch cocoa. Nor do I. Not even a... Toasted oak. <laughs> not that I gnaw on oak on a regular basis. <laughs> yeah. You are a perfect... No. I don't think that's right. Uh, no. <laughs> Good old Formica board or something. Yeah. Hint of almond. It's very... What are they? It's very are they serious? <laughs> okay, hint of almond. I'm not... I mean, the more that I'm getting more palatized to it, I am getting... Is that a word? Well, I hope so. It is now. It is. It's Brought to you, the BBR. <laughs> uh, I am starting to get the molasses. I am starting to get the vanilla, but toasted oak and almond. <clears throat> I'm starting to get the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's like, okay, I think... And that, that was all feel. supposed to be nose. So, yeah. palate... Oh, jeez. <laughs> the palate, we're supposed to be experiencing buttery, creamy brown sugar. Not creamy. I am not taking big maybe, enough drinks, so maybe, I, maybe a hint of that. I don't know if I would call it buttery, but... Water. It, it, I would say that definitely there is a there's a certain richness to it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, it's it like yeah, rich. It tastes. It tastes like I should be. <clears throat> oh. huh. It tastes like good rum. I mean it, but I. I am glad you over, like it because so far I'm. Yeah, overall I'm not finding anything really truly distinctive. Like I, you know, I've had uh, Blackheart and Sailor Jerry and. Kraken. Kraken and. Bacardi. Like the... Sailor Jerry and Blackheart. Both Those are my have, favorite. They, they have very distinctive yeah. flavors that you can. I mean, this you, is definitely. You taste it. It. This is what I'm tasting here is rum. Yeah, I mean it's good rum. It's I love. I will rum. give it that. I'll agree with you that. But it I is good rum. But I don't for the presentation for all yeah. the. I was expecting more, but um, yeah, let's go on. I like it, but it bittersweet finish. It feels dry for some reason. The finish yeah. feels dry. I, I if that's a way I, to I kind of expect that, that from rum, and I and I, really? I do know that cheaper rums, especially um, you know, I want to say like the the Bacardi and the other clear rums that what, they have out there. What is that there, coconut rum? It's a very some of those they very don't they're popular not dry and they don't have white a dry bottle. finish. What is that stuff? I can't think of it. Anyway, now I, I I taste that sort of a what the that they call their buttery richness and more in the aftertaste. Like right now, just kind of sitting here, it's like my mouth has that I don't know a certain distinct distinctive. It does have a very distinct finish. It leaves. Yeah. It and doesn't I, leave I an unpleasantness. Yeah, it does I, leave a nice. I think the bittersweet is just a 
by nature of it being more dry than mm-hmm. some rums. Like, like, like if I drink like a clear rum, I don't get that. It's not dry. It feels like it's kind of watered down and sweet. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. You know? gotcha. It, it, now that you mention <clears throat> that, I can definitely taste the aged process, the aging um, process of this rum. That I can tell. It's not one yeah. of those mass produced. Well, not to say this isn't, but you know, it does have a very distinct punch most, to it. Yeah, most of the most of the flavors that I pick up are like in the aftertaste after just like setting it down for a moment. And... So you're saying it's more of a sipping <clears throat> rum, not well, a yeah. I don't knock think, it back. I mean, yeah, kill a bottle. The... <laughs> Price and quality, yeah, you probably don't want to just be like, I'm going to drink the whole bottle. Yeah. With that said, um, it's meant to be enjoyed, and I um, do enjoy it. Yeah, I, I enjoy it as well, maybe not now as I much as our Dermis, but um, to classy it up illusion style, I have a uh, surprise for our Dermis. I was so apprehensive <laughs> of the whole thing. Fancy rum. I mean, I was looking forward to it. I know it's going to taste delicious, but it's really not my flavor. So we're going to classy mm. up the old rum. So what we got here, and this is the uh, surprise for our Deramis, Blue, Blue Hawaiian. That's why I like yeah. it. Yeah. So um, it's rum and it's Hawaiian. I let's like it. crack this baby open. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Are we going to do one of those? Where we fast forward the video. Okay, I'm gonna let you fumble with that while I get the fixings for it. Ice water. Okay, my purse then. I'm just waiting on you. <laughs> uh, actually, I fingernails. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> the unboxing knife. The check out Illusion's other unboxing videos. More coming here shortly. Featuring the knife. Oh, check that out. Oh, this is... You know this is going to taste sugary nasty. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is going to (laughs) be... I'm excited. What is... Do you come off? You should be coming off. Oh. oh, oh. Oh. So here we go. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing this. This is actually to rim. It is sugar. Oh. So if we had another plate, we'd throw the sucker down and we'd rim the uh, glass. I'm not gonna rim my glass. There you go. This is a drinking show. What are you? What are you trying to do? Oh, check it out. We got a that's a re- recipe for mojitos, mojitos. for apple pini, margarita, Cosmo, and back to the uh, mojito. So what we're gonna do? Take the rest of the uh, watered down ice there. Oh, this is going to get messy in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Have you ever done this this. before? Nope. This is my first time doing this. I've only touched my genitalias five Uh. times in the last hour. (laughs) There we go. That's it. I quit. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so it calls for your first cup of ice. A lot of water. That's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. Um, Shouldn't it be like salt water so it like gets colder? <laughs> Directions: <laughs> rinse, shaker, and fill with ice. <clears throat> oh well. Pour uh, one pouch <laughs> of mix into shaker. Add Maybe we should have set water in <laughs> those cups of. Should have set this up before we drank the <laughs> cup of rum. I love how this <laughs> says um, uh, three fourths cup. Prescribed alcohol. God, if anything needed to be prescribed, <clears throat> it would be alcohol. So, oh my God. I tell all my patients all they need is a little rum. So here we go. That goes in the water. Yeah. This is this is you what sure? it's. I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping anyway. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Thus far, I thought that was. I thought that. Like went on the outside of something. I don't, I don't now, know. I never mixed a drink like this. So. To add the twelve aged rum to our plastic 
chemistry set here of we have no idea mm -hmm. what blue concoction. I have no idea how I'm going to get home. <laughs> Someone's going to have to drive it's me. Coming nice and messy. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of rum. Oh, that's there pretty. Let's get a look at this. Yes. You guys get some of this oh, yeah. this way. Now, I'm assuming we do this. Do this. And you shake it all about. That just does not feel like a good seal to be. <laughs> it's not blue. That's like a green wine. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the type of rum that I'm using. Maybe it called for a clear rum. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure I follow the instructions. Okay. I think you were lo losing our uh, bronze tone. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm, I'm getting a little scared here. If you want, I'll be the first to <clears throat> oh, check it out. It's going to be nice and It's a green Hawaiian. Chill. Green Hawaiian. <laughs> it should be algae punch. Al it could be the new name for yeah. it. The green algae. First ever, the... Uh, Green algae, Hawaiian. <laughs> it's green, therefore it's healthy. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Mike. To the uh, green Hawaiian. Did I add anything? That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, <clears throat> this is a dangerous drink because now it has all the kick that this has, which is plenty. Yeah. And a fruity finish. What is that fruit flavor though? It's like, <laughs> it's just like fruit. <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't want it. It's like. Dye number whatever blue or is. Or... Yeah. Blue 40 and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What is that? It's like... Oh! What is the flavor? Just in case you're curious, want to go um, purchase this wonderful... Oh, that's why I said prescribe. Cocktail oh. RX. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's laced with pharmaceuticals. <laughs> <laughs> Cocktail RX Blue Hawaiian Cocktail Kit. Add rum and shake. Makes about eight cocktails. Hmm. Uh, apparently, they have Facebook, who doesn't, and Twitter. And is that? that is the Blue Hawaiian. And what is that flavor, though? I don't know if you want to see the water. And it's like it's not like blue raspberry water. It's like pure cane sugar, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors, potassium sorbate, sodium benzonite. It's kind of tart. F D and C Blue Number One. I was off by 39. <laughs> oh. It's good. Yeah. I mean, it's like... I don't know if I'd use a half it, a bottle of... It's like an artificial fruit flavor. You know, like when you go to the store and you buy candy. And yeah. it says, it's, you know, <laughs> it's cherry flavor. It's like, that doesn't taste like any cherries I've ever eaten. Never. It's good. It's good. It's but candy. But it tastes like cherries. It's, you know, what you think a cherry mm -hmm. tastes like as a child. Oh, man. That direction. has got the kick of the rum, though. Wrench shaker. This is like the directions to make the Do we have to drink, drink all this? We <laughs> were be walking on my lips. <laughs> well, we can wrap this up, I suppose. After we finish! Mm -mm. No. Um, <coughs> second bro brew review. <clears throat> Appleton Estate Jamaican... Extra 12-year aged rum. Final say, would you buy it? Would you suggest friends to buy it? I would buy it, but <clears throat> I don't know how much it cost. He didn't tell me. But I have a feeling it was a lot. And for the price, oh. it's like, you know, it's a good rum. I like it. I'm not going to say it's not. Ooh, like and it. oh, probably good. for a here. sophisticated... Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Now, for the sophisticated palate, maybe you might uh, buy it, but <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Like I can already, I can't even finish a sentence now. But, um, 
Overall, good rum, but I would probably personally stick with something a little more affordable. I, I you know, Blackheart is still my favorite. Sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to concur with our Dermis. I mean, it's it's a nice rum. It's it's just not the rum for me. I mean, yeah, I it's going to be in my collections of liquor and alcohol. But um, I can see once in a while having a glass of this <clears throat> and enjoying it. Yeah. But as far as, you know, wanting a rum and Coke, <laughs> I'm going to be going with Blackheart yeah. or, you know, Kraken or something else. Um, it, it, it's but, more affordable. It's uh, But, I mean, it's good. I don't want to dissuade you from buying it. I, I like it. It's just, you know... Maybe I'm just not sophisticated enough to really understand it. Maybe I think I'm in the it. same you boat. Know, I just, just, I don't get the toasted oak and almond, and yeah, I, I want my rum to taste like <clears throat> rum and Coke. If I choose to, it tastes like rum, yeah. but it comes with a price. So. And if need be, classy the shit out of it with some cheap ass blue Hawaiian mix. <laughs> <laughs> Green algae, Hawaiian. <laughs> well, this has been Illusions for Illusions Nerdery. And our Daramus. Thank you for watching our uh, Bro Brew Review. Look forward to other um, things on our channels. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.